Hello, I'm Nancy O'Neill. Joining me today on Suncoast FYI are Sandra Frank, CEO of All Fates Food Bank, Sue Forbes, owner of the Artful Giraffe, and Ella Lewis of the Suncoast Blood Bank. All next on Suncoast FYI. Hi, thanks for joining SNN on this week's Suncoast FYI. I'm Nancy O'Neill. All Faiths Food Bank is such an important part of our community. This summer, they remind us that children should be thinking of fun and not food. Unfortunately, many kids are right here on the Suncoast could go hungry this summer. And joining me today is Sandra Frank, CEO for All Faiths Food Bank, and she'll tell us how we can help these hungry kids. Good morning, Sandra. Good morning. Thank, Thank you, you for inviting us. Thank you for being back. It's a pleasure. We always love to see you. Thank you. Now, we know that you feed children and family year round. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, how does the summer program work, and how obviously is that different now that the children are out of mm -hmm. school? Really, uh, with 21,000 children plus needing the free and reduced meal programs during the school year, when school ends, hunger begins because those school year meals are no longer available for the children. So we initiated this campaign against summer hunger to specifically feed kids all summer long. Make sure that they're ready and healthy and prepared to succeed in school in September. And you've expanded this now since you started it, which was when? When, when did you actually start the program? You know, the campaign, yeah, it started in 2014. So mm -hmm. it's, this is our third year, and um, it has expanded and grown. We've learned so much about better ways to reach children. That is a challenge. Mm -hmm. Where are these kids during the summer? We've learned a lot about it. Uh, and s fortunately, we're able to reach about 27,000 kids last year, and our goal is to reach 30,000 this year. Because when you think about it, their little brothers and sisters mm -hmm. are hungry too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, what makes the summer program in this area unique? Mm -hmm. You know, it is really a diverse program. Mm -hmm. So it involves backpacks, our mobile food pantries going out to communities where kids are living. Uh, we're partnering with the schools for their summer school meals. Um, it is really about collaboration and the scope of organizations that we're working with to reach kids. So there might be 140 different organizations that are partnering with us to find kids and feed kids all summer long. And who, who are some of your donors? You know, um, our donors, those who give us the food, yeah. um, include retailers as well as the, as the public through their food drives. Those who help us provide the food to the kids all summer are everything from every YMCA, all the boys and girl club, girls clubs, all the libraries, the school system, uh, churches, faith-based, just, as I said, 140 different organizations. If the child, if children are gathering there, we want to be there providing food mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. Now, again, you said you've got quite a large area to cover. How do you find these these children in need in these isolated areas? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, the volunteers bring the food? I mean, how do you get it out there? How yeah. do you get reach so many people? You know, it is, as I said, it's a very creative, it's very innovative, and that's what's distinctive about our summer meal program, our summer mm -hmm. food program. But using, not to get too technical, but to using zip codes, we're able to identify the highest need neighborhoods. We look for agencies and organizations that are there already. Mm -hmm. If there aren't any, our trucks go out and provide the food to the kids. And volunteers, essential, essential to the work that we do. Okay. Now, I'm sure you have many wonderful stories, things that have happened over the course of, of the history of the program. Mm -hmm. Can you share one that, you know, is dear to your heart? Yeah. I'm sure there's many of them. There are many. And really what, what I'm left with are images. Mm -hmm. uh, because I, I have the pleasure of being able to go out and... and uh, where the, the food is being provided to kids. And the image that I have, um, a little kids coming in from playing in the heat, in the August of heat, uh, just, you know, so sweaty and grimy because they're little kids and they're playing, which they should be, right. racing indoors to a very cool, fresh lunchroom and getting a meal. And it's, it's a meal of chicken and milk and apples and healthy, happy kids. Yeah having fun, which is yeah. what they should be doing yeah. during the summer. Absolutely. And that's the image that I have yeah. from the summer food that's program. That's great. They shouldn't be thinking about they food and being hungry. Be. Mm -mm. Now, 
Oh, that's amazing. Now, I know that you don't only um, take care of them in the, in the summer, mm -hmm. but you stock the schools during the school year so yes. that there's healthy snacks during, uh, during the day mm -hmm. as well as after? Yes, we do. Um, as Again, trying to reach children where they're going to be and providing food for times when they're not able to access food. Mm -hmm. So we have school pantries that have um, all non-perishable and some perishable food that we provide. The families can come in too and shop there as well as snacks for the kids. That's okay. year-round. Okay. We do backpacks every Friday for children. Mm -hmm. Last year 113,000 backpacks to kids wow. and we didn't reach most of them. It's a, it's, the need is so that's extensive so and that's one of the takeaways I'd like people to have is how uh, this is such a need with more than half of the children in the schools mm -hmm. needing these meals. You can't imagine that on this beautiful day in this beautiful community that this many children are at risk of no. hunger but it's true but it's so true. they're out there they they need our help they do and where can they where can our viewers go to find out how to reach you and how they can get involved you know the easiest is these days the the website allfaithfoodbank.org and all of our distributions are listed there time our locations as well as information about how to access food who to contact um, how to call us the, foot, the uh, website is really the better place, the okay. best place. All right, great. Thank you so much, and thank you for doing all the hard work that you do. We appreciate it. Thank you for helping us spread the word. I appreciate Our it. My pleasure. Thank you. Thanks. Next on Suncoast FYI, while some kids may be in the need of the gift of food this summer, some may also be in the need of gift of blood. When we come back, we'll talk to Ella Lewis of the Suncoast Blood Bank. <laughs> 